Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing a little bit of a pack opening. So this is going to be a little bit different. I thought, you know what, maybe I should throw in a face cam or something like that, but I want to just do this on the fly. Hopefully no cuts, just one whole take, all right? So let's see if we can do this. But I bought here three mega packs. We got also three silver packs as well. Uh, I was trying to do some silver collections and so far it's not been too bad. Like I've been doing all the SHL collections, the, the ones that you only need. Uh, 13 or 14 items in each one and so far I'm slowly finishing them but you know what I'm I'm kind of getting my way there but uh, I'm, from what I know you can still get gold players from silver packs so that's what I'm trying to do save up some silver packs for the team of the year and then hope to god that you know I get something good right but anyways I'm going to start opening up these packs and I really want to answer some of the frequently asked questions on my last video that I posted out while I opened up this pack. But the first question that I had in my how to save coins during the team of the year is do I have enough coins? Uh, is 500k enough? Is a mil enough? How many coins do I actually need? But uh, first of all, let's check this uh, pack out. We got Pacek, DeMello. Uh, I'm just going to take anything that I can use for my collections, right? Anything else? McKay, I'll keep McKay. But... If you have 500k to a mil, honestly, you you have enough money. I think people are worrying about it too much. Uh, I think one thing about this team of the year is everybody's so scared of losing coins, especially when there's a market crash, right? But don't be too afraid about this game. I mean, it's just a game overall. You know, things are going to happen day to day. You just want to enjoy this game just like a normal person, but you want to also be, you know... Kind of prepare for the team of the year as well. That's why I brought out the video last time. It wasn't to screw anybody over. It wasn't to, you know, tell you guys a certain amount of rules uh, to follow for the team of the year. Because there are no rules. It's just my opinion. Uh, but then again, like, I really changed the market. I remember after I posted that video, it just seemed like uh, suddenly everybody's players are dropping in price. Uh, we got, ooh, we got Danny Alfredson. Uh, any injury? Fiddler, home, Pittsburgh, plus five, all... The amount of jerseys in these packs are ridiculous, alright? But anyways, if the question is, do you have enough coins? Yes, you have enough coins, alright? So going on to the next one here, uh, this guy named Pepe, and he asked, when should I buy back my players? So I said a certain date in the video, I said April 15th, I think. Um, and that is not necessarily the best time to buy back your players. He made a good point saying that uh, the best time to buy your players back is when there is a special pack out, and he is completely correct uh if there is a special pack out player prices will drop in price even more so around april 15th i'm not saying after april 15th around that date two three days before or two three days after whenever there is a special pack out that is when you should be capitalizing on buying back your players that's the best time all right and let's see what we got here we got uh green is schoenberg kingsley ev zug that's the logo i used last year i like that and there's zero availability, so that would have maybe saved my ass a little bit later. But, like I said, buy your players back sometime around April 10th to April 20th. Like, there's a little bit of a range, but wait until there's a special pack out. Some type of rare player premium pack where you know that player prices cannot go any lower. Alright? Alright, so next pack here. I'm going to open up another 35, but people have asked me, what do I do if I have under 50k? Or, people have asked me if they only had 10k or 20k. The thing is, the more coins you have, the more money you can make, right? So if you're at 10k right now and you are three days away from the team of the year, honestly, just play the game just like you normally would. You would not see any difference other than the market changing. Like, you won't be able to make a million coins with just 10k at this point. Like, the market is so screwed up, it's not even worth trying to make a million coins. Like, of course, you can buy coins, and like, always... If you want to check out a uh, hot coin sponsor, check out angelcoinmarket.com. The link is in the description box below, and you can use Chops for a 5% discount if you want to buy some more coins. Obviously, you don't need to, uh, and you might just get lucky and pull an amazing card uh, in a, a pack that you spend with 14k, right? But then again, you know, if you want to buy coins, up to you. And why can I not quick sell this pack? Oh, wait, let me just see here. I got some consumables, but if you have 10 to 15k or whatever it is, a small amount of coins... Uh, honestly, just play the game like normal. I would do collections. I, I would do my normal routine, play some games, enjoy the game, and ride it out until NHL 16. That would be my advice for you guys. All right. I don't. I don't want to be saying like you can make a million coins just by you know doing this or do doing this because you honestly can't. If it was that easy, um, for sure everybody else would be doing it, and you wouldn't be making millions of coins, right? But the next question is, should I keep my Movember players? All right. Uh, let me just check this pack. Lam Lamarash. 
uh, Derner, got the same last name, kind of. Uh, and Norris, I'll keep the coaches. I don't know why. Might as well have him than not have him, because I'll never buy it back, right? I think there's a really good silver coach that we haven't even thought of, but should I keep my Movember players? And that is really up to you. If you have Movember players, you got to figure out whether or not it's a risk, because I have all these people asking me, like, should I sell my Movember patch already? Should I sell my Movember Bobby Ryan? And honestly, that is up to you. Like, I don't keep up to date with the prices, but do you think it's worth the risk of keeping it or selling it later? That is up to you, right? It's always a risk. Uh, and this next pack, these packs have been bad. I might just buy another 35k pack. Hopefully get at least something good for this pack opening, right? Let me see at the back. St. Louis changed team. We got, you know, Tomo, Tomo Rutu, Glenn Denning, uh, Emerson Edom. We got a lot of players there. Carolina changed team and a Vancouver changed team. Yeah, I'll buy one more. Why not? But... Like I said, if you have really expensive Movember players or you have a really cheap Movember player, uh, you guys can decide whether or not you want to keep it. I, I can't really speculate for you. That has to be under your decision because there are so many Movember cards out. Some players have bigger chances to receive Team of the Years than others, so you have to make that judgment for yourself once again. All right, so I'm going to buy one more pack here, and I'll answer the last question that I had, the most frequently asked questions. And they always ask, how much will players drop by? And I always get this question, like, if I'm going to sell my Jamie Ben right now, will I get my coins back? And we got a Miku, Miku Koivu, 9,000, or, sorry, 4,000 coins, 89 overall. I guess it's not bad. 6.4k quick sell, that means there's no hot lives in this pack, right? I mean, a, uh, a special card, I mean, goes for at least 6.5k quick sell. So there's definitely nothing too good in this pack. We'll try one more just to answer that question once again. But if you have a lot of players... You have to make the decision, once again, if it's worth selling your Jamie Ben or whatever, selling your Stamco, selling your Ovechkin. Do you want to keep it or do you want to wait? Because the player prices, it's a known fact, player player prices are going to drop. I don't know every single value. People keep asking me, like, how much do you think Stamco is going to drop by? Because I can't tell you. It's just like you're asking questions that I have to speculate on. And I can't, I don't want to give you a right answer or a wrong answer. And once again, another crappy pack. These 35k packs. Something weird about them. I don't know. But anyways, that is just about it in terms of frequently asked questions. I Hopefully that answered some of your questions because I didn't feel like I was clear enough in my last video. And I don't want to screw anyone over at all. That's not my intention at all. And uh, I want to make sure that you guys come out with the best, um, I guess, step in the right direction after the Team of the Year leaves. As well as hopefully you guys pull a shit ton of Team of the Years. Uh, honestly, I really want you guys to do that. But anyways, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully it answered some of your questions, as well as maybe uh, just clarified a little bit uh, for my last video at least. So I want to uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. See you guys.